Okay, now I'm going to show you a very important technique that really is at the heart of an effective PCR or an exit inspection uh, video. And that is the ability to isolate defects and really document defects, whether they're pre-existing or whether they're caused by a tenant that you're making a claim on their final bond. Okay, so to do that, I'm going to show you a combination of effects using not only my camera, but our cameraman is going to kind of illustrate the point as well, so that you guys really get how important it is to show these defects as closely and steadily as you can using your camera. So I picked a couple of defects here in the house, which I'll show you. So if I were coming in here and I did my, my walls, my, my ceilings, walls, floors. Now I'm going to walk around the room to the other side and I noticed there's a nail hole in the wall with a scratch mark on it. Now if I point that out from here, it's barely visible. It's like a fly speck. All right, and you know that because you can hardly see it from where you are. So the technique I want you guys to make sure you do is to, as you're walking around, you want to almost rest the lens on the wall because it steadies what's, what you're showing and say there is a hole in the wall here with a scratch mark. Now you go ahead and put it up that close too, Mr. Cameraman, and, and rest the lens on the corner. And when you rest the lens, you literally steady the shot so that we can get a still shot from that if we need it for you. Okay? Now, the other thing about it is, did you notice that when we got that close to it, it almost looked like a crater on the surface of the moon? And if you were getting into a discussion with a resident about a claim you're making on their bond, the closer and more steadily that you illustrate the damages, the more likely you are to get no fight over your bond claim. And that's what this is all about. So here's another example. This floor is in bad shape. Now if I'm pointing at the floor and I'm saying it from here, you can't see the dirt on this floor. So that's why you have to take a knee and show what you're trying to show literally as close as you can and steady. Now if you wanted to touch it to the floor, you could as well. I'll let the cameraman kind of do the same thing. Take a knee there, get real close. And that's the technique that we're after. And don't move it a lot. Just pick some of the dirt, show it for three seconds and move on. Now here's another uh, very common illustration. Underneath the bar area on the paint here, there's all sorts of scratches and marks and there's a crayon mark on the wall. And these are things we, we don't call crayons normal wear and tear. We call that something that shouldn't be on the wall. And we make claims for that. And so as a result, let me show you again. If, if we're here pointing at the wall, you can't see the damage. So when you're pointing at it, you want to say, here's an actual dent, a gouge in the drywall that has to be filled. Here's a crayon mark. There's multiple scratches right here. There's also some uh, marks there, more scratches from furnishings here. So if you get within about a foot of large wide areas of damage with your camera and count to three on each one and then move on, that's a great way to document damages. So remember, get up close, close as you can, hold it still for three seconds, move on. Thanks for watching.